I think the answer is yes. So watch this tutorial to find out what is best. How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. What I meant to say in my slightly patronizing song at the beginning there is that the Clarity tool, when it was first brought in, everyone went absolutely nuts with it, right? Every single photo you saw was Clarity at 100 and every single thing just had this super high mid-tone contrast, which if that's the grungy look you're going for, don't get me wrong, then absolutely great and there's some fantastic photographers who've you know made their living using the clarity tool as like their look but I would argue that 90% of people use it wrong they apply it as a blanket over the entire photo and it just kind of it makes their subject pop sure because it's adding the contrast in the midtones there for their subject and it really makes them stand out but the problem is that they're also applying it to the background, they're applying it to everything in the photo as a blanket, and if you're spending a lot of money on lenses to get pretty bokeh like this, it just seems like such a shame to then smack a load of clarity on it and essentially just not ruin it, but just lose that, that aesthetic of all of this pretty bokeh that you've spent so much money on. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely use the clarity tool to make my subject stand out in a photograph, but I don't just apply it as a blanket over the whole thing. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And I'm not saying this is the right way or the only way, I'm just saying this is the way that I do it and this is the way that I would recommend that you do it. All right, let's jump into Lightroom. Okay, so here's a quick shot of the guitar that I was playing. It's using the Sigma ART 35mm 1.4 lens. This lens is an absolute beast. It gives the most beautiful bokeh, especially on a full frame camera. And this is what happens if I just whack the clarity up to 100. Bam. Everything is amplified. Everything is more popped. Everything is looking grungy. And if that's what you want, cool, go with that. But let me show you this first. Instead of smacking the clarity up to 100 and leaving it as it is, instead, just hit K on your keyboard or come up to the adjustment brush there and just reset everything so that everything is set to zero and then put in, I don't know, whatever, 50 clarity and then maybe 33 sharpness, cool. And a little bit of saturation as well, put in maybe 15 saturation because the clarity tends to sap your saturation somewhat. So, when you've got that done, increase the brush size to what you like. Make sure that you have some feathering on there because if you don't have any feathering, it's gonna look weird. And then turn off auto mask because that's the worst thing on the planet. And just draw across the thing that you want to amplify, the thing that you want to add that clarity to. So I'm just gonna do the bridge of the guitar. I'm gonna do the scratch pad there. I'm gonna do this bokeh here and just up along the line of the strings there, bam. Okay, now the wood is getting the texture. The bridge is the only sharp, sharp bit of the image, the subject you could say, so that is getting more pop. The pick card is getting more contrast to it, and this bokeh here and up along the strings in the neck is getting more contrast to it as well. Now with a new brush, by clicking new, you could remove the clarity, remove the sharpness, remove the saturation, and increase the contrast if you wanted to, and just brush in a little bit of contrast in the background there, because contrast works over the whole range of the histogram. It doesn't just affect your mid-tones, so shadows and highlights, it affects everything. So it affects shadows, highlights, blacks, and whites. And that to me looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna create a virtual copy of this. I'm gonna remove the adjustment brushes. So there are no adjustment brushes there. And then I'm just gonna smack the clarity all the way up to 100. And now we can compare these two shots. So the one with the clarity definitely looks a lot grungier. It's got a harsher vignette going on. The highlights are more blown out. The shadows are more crunched. And it just looks, yeah, it just looks super grungy. Whereas the adjustment brush version is smoother. It's got more balance to it, which means that all of the bokeh here, all of this out of focus area that looks absolutely beautiful and creamy because I spent money on a good lens and a good camera that can offer me that, 
isn't just being ruined and crunched down and over sharpened and over contrasted by the clarity tool. It's actually looking creamy and buttery and beautiful like it's meant to. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, that's, that's all I would do to it. I know which one I'm gonna be putting on my Instagram. Definitely the one with the adjustment brush, not the clarity up to 100. In fact, let's do that right now. Okay, export the file, put it in Google Drive, wait for it to load up in its fullest resolution, hit the three dots, send a copy, Instagram, opens up in Instagram, make it five by four, hit next, noise. All right, I hope you found this useful and I appreciate that this is a really subjective issue because if you're into the grungy look, then it works for you and it's really good. But if you're not into the grungy look or you're just applying clarity as a blanket because you're not quite sure how else to do it, I hope this really helps you and I hope you, you keep that aesthetic of all of the bokeh and the out of focus areas of your subject, of your subject, of your photo, your subject shouldn't be out of focus. Or maybe it should, I don't know, maybe that works for you too. Anyway, give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit that subscribe button to get more videos and tutorials from me at DoD Media. Leave a comment in the comment section about your workflow, how you use the Clarity tool, if you apply it to everything, or if you do what I do with a brush, or if you just never touch Clarity because it's hideous and ruins your photo, in your opinion. If I think it's helpful for me or for others, you will win something free from my store of your choosing. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video.